Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I will show you how you can um, connect your hosting a hosting to your GoDaddy domain. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is check out my affiliate link in the description. Go select any plan, hosting a plan. You know, it will take you directly to the WordPress hosting plans. And from here, select any plan you like. I would recommend at least go with the WordPress starter if you have just one or two sites you know with low traffic if you have a decent site do not opt for anything else than this sorry business wordpress plan and that's okay that's the least you will need okay just simply add it to your cart and then you know just click on checkout okay and but you you will be getting a free domain name so what you have to do is um just you know buy it type your domain name here type your new domain you want to buy okay type your new domain.com okay and I have a full tutorial about it how you can set up install uh, WordPress from scratch on Hostinger so I would recommend you to go watch that tutorial first and because you do not want to if even if you have an existing domain with GoDaddy that you want to connect to your Hostinger hosting why waste a free domain when you are getting it um, so you know just add it to your domain and um, once you have done that what you have to do is log into the cPanel of Hostinger okay so this way we can um, create two websites where you will have an additional domain which you may use for any other project okay so the, I will, I'm telling you this because why waste a free domain offer okay once you have logged in okay what you have to do is go to here domains and okay sorry go to let's say hosting okay yes sorry go to hosting and um, click here on click on add website so if you have selected the right plan I suggested you you will be able to see this option and um, choose the domain type from type your domain name here okay type your domain.com okay and um, you know just add it here and this will be an add-on domain this will become an add-on domain like you can see here I have two domains connected to my account this is a add-on domain okay and um, if I will show you here in hosting here two two domains connected this is the main domain and this is another domain I connected to it okay now once you have done that this that will be a GoDaddy domain what you have to do is go to godaddy.com sign in to your account okay and here in my products you will be able to see the domain connected to your account and here go to DNS okay and here scroll down and you will see this option name servers okay currently it is set to using default name servers and um, it is currently connected to my GoDaddy hosting and so what I will do is um, go to um, copy this name server and this will be also available in the description so make sure to check that if it is updated I will I will update in the description and um, if it is not just please post a comment and um, I will do that in case I forgot or missed it somehow what you have to do is click on change and then click on enter my own name servers advanced and then just copy and paste it here okay and it's that simple then click on save okay I will not do it because I do not want to connect this it is already connected to an active website that I'm using it for another tutorial so but that's how pretty simple it is just click on save name save here and um, after two to four hours or sometime for some hosting it may take a little while the maximum time is 24 to 48 hours but usually it never takes that long uh, it will take like two to four hours uh, sometime it happens happens even earlier 
the name server updation process so once that is done you will be able to access your website or uh, that is on hosting a hosting okay and um, hosting also gives you a temporary domain so you can uh, use that temporary domain to install wordpress and everything uh, as i said i already have created a whole tutorial about it so all the links will be available in the description do check out how to use the preview domain and thing and um, i will see you in the next video i hope you found this tutorial helpful please post in the comments if you found this useful or how should i improve it or anything else any general feedback so i'll see you in the next video